Hey y'all, how's it hanging? So today I got my Cutco stuff that I ordered. So psyched about it. I ordered a knife tray to hold all my knives because I have a lot of them. Um, I also got a pretty sick red cutting board. It has like a little groove in it so like your juices don't go onto your counter. It also like stands up off the like counter or table or whatever so then it's like not, I don't know, more solidly on the table. Also, um, I got a chef knife, which this boy's huge. Like he's bigger than, well maybe he's as big as my, I have a big head. He's probably as big as my head. Um, and a Santoku knife. And since I love Cutco and all my friends know this because I shame them, um, I'm just going to tell you about it because that was the first thing Bryce said when I said I was doing a vlog. He was like, yo, make a Cutco video. And I was like, all right, wait till I buy some more Cutco. And I did. So I'm going to start biggest to smallest. So my chef knife is pretty big, but it's not as tall. Maybe it is as tall. No, not as tall as my slicer. Um, so basically the slicer, bread, cabbage, lettuce, you know, all the stuff you need sliced up um, for any party or event or salad or when you're just eating a whole entire like loaf of bread by yourself at your house. Yeah, and then it's the chef knife. It has that curved edge so you can chop the things. All Cutco has like this really chill handle that like, I don't gotta hold it like this because I know my knife's actually gonna cut something. And when it gets dull in like seven years, I'm just gonna send it back in and I'll sharpen it for free and send it back to me. So YOLO. My next big guy is this carving knife. He's a little stabby, he's a little pointy. Um, and yeah carving up meat um or you know like if you don't need to whip out your entire huge slicing knife you can just pull out your little carving knife and be like sure i'll carve your carve the hole in your bread bowl sure i'm there i got your back and then next my other new knife the petite santoku it has that straight edge so instead of cutting down like a chef knife on all your veggies you can just slice them it's a good time been eyeing this one since I sold Cutco like two summers ago because I was really intrigued and I use them and I used to use them from May's Kitchen all the time and I loved it so I was like I need one for my house and now I do because I'm an adult and yeah instead of having fancy furniture I just have fancy knives because they're warranty forever so why not next is the little cheese knife he has little holes in it the holes are so you can cut your cheese not farts, actual cheese. And while you're cutting it, your cheese won't stick to your knife as much because there's holes in it to help it separate out. Yeah, that's a good time. Also, it has that like, nice little roundy edge thing. So you can cut that cheese ball in half, but also use it to spread the cheese. It's a good time. Um, also has like that really small double D edge that you can't really see because I ain't got the time or the energy to be a great videographer. I'm just a amateur vlogger. So there's that. Then you have your spatula spreader. I'm not eating cake right now because I'm getting healthy. But for those of you who are eating cake right now, not only can you frost your cake with your spreader and get all those weird edge pieces and like whatever the heck you're trying to do, but also you can cut it up with the double D edge. Yeah, it's really bendy so it's flexible so you can do all the things you need to do with it. This is the go-to peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Like, spreading anything, spread your like spread your stuff on your sandwich, cut it in half into triangles for your kids. I don't know, like it works. It's so warm. And then the all-time fave is the trimmer. Um, trimmers are really cool because they're just your go-to small little knife for like cutting tomatoes or other vegetables. And you just have like one thing to do. Um, also, they come with a sheath a lot of the time. So like you can get a cool sheath with them and bring them to your in-laws house when they own their really old wood handled ones, you know, that have like molds growing on the inside because wood rots from the inside out. Knife facts, don't get wood handles. Plastic isn't much better though because like it just gets slippery when it's wet and you're trying to cut stuff. So be safe. Dull knives are causing most problems in the kitchen. Okay, next. This is a paring knife. It's used in the air only. So like when you're cutting a lime or a lemon or your enemies, 
just kidding it's too small but also um yeah so it's just like peeling stuff cutting little things in the air or avocados and he's a handy dandy tool that can get you through not almost everything because he's very small last but not least of my knife collection is my little butter knife i only have one of them um but it has the same like double d edge which still be, the edge basically means that like instead of it being like a point and like your points being the sharp part, they're in like little trapezoids. So like you have three straight edges cutting into your food and the points are actually just there to protect the sharpness of your knife. So it doesn't go dull as fast. Um, and yeah, and it cuts just like a steak knife. And the only difference between that and a steak knife is that it's like not pointy, it's roundy. And uh, why exactly do we have points on our steak knives? There really is no point, unless you know you're stabbing your enemies or stabbing meat, or like, you know, just, I don't know, what you do with your steak knives. It's up to you. Um, these are my Cutco shears. Um, they're really sturdy and thick. They have a, like, you can't really tell. It has like a little, like a really interesting like edge on it. And uh, yeah, they come apart, so Instead of getting all that gross food stuck in your knives, you just pull it apart and wash the whole thing. Literally a gift to humankind right here. Um, besides Jesus, you know, the ultimate gift, salvation. Um, yeah, and basically that's mostly what I got. Really hyped about my knife tray. It's not gonna hold all my knives, but I'll hold most of them. By most, I mean half. Um, and yeah. That's my life. I'm kind of a knife snob. But I do really love kitchen supplies, so it makes sense why I would just pay the extra for good quality handles and blades and all the things. So, uh, yeah. I'm gonna go cut up the veggies for my dinner. But uh, y'all have a great evening. Make good life choices. Eat something healthy or green or red. Eat a vegetable today. That's my one task for you. Drink a glass of water so you're not dehydrated. Yeah. Have a great day.